Apple brings its lossless audio features to Android devices. Instagram adds auto translate tool inside stories. Clubhouse is now officially open for everyone as it is out of the invite only mode. All this and much more coming up in this week's edition of the Connected Church News. Welcome, I am Nachi Lazarus and this is the show that brings you the top 5 digital and social media news each week in just 5 minutes. Let's get started. Our first big news of this week is from WhatsApp. Last week, WhatsApp announced the release of a new feature called Joinable Calls inside WhatsApp groups. So now if you get a WhatsApp group call, which is a video call with a closed small group of people on WhatsApp, uh, till now you had to pick up that call when uh, it was initiated. If you did not pick up for some reason, you're busy, you're not able to join the call, then you got dropped off and you didn't even know that there was a call going on like that. You only see a missed call and then there was no way for you to join it. But now you can. You can join an ongoing call uh, anytime. You can actually drop off and rejoin if you had to. It's almost like a mini Zoom experience. Uh, but coming inside WhatsApp and with all the privacy end-to-end -end encryption built into it. So I do see a lot of applications in non-profit and ministry settings. You can have team huddles, you can have conversation with the leaders, you can have prayer meetings, uh, you can have counseling sessions. So there are lots of uh, interesting applications. Our next news is about Tokyo 2020 Olympics. If you are a sports fan, you know that last week Tokyo Olympics uh, were kicked off and it's, a, it's one of the biggest sporting events and in spite of lots of challenges, it's moving forward. Now, social media networks are taking full advantage of this uh, big sports event and uh, all of them want the share of their audience and the traffic and the uh, viewership and attention that comes with this event. So Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, uh, Twitter, all of them have come up with their own features uh, for helping Olympic fans uh, either find content like search or watch highlights. YouTube is giving you highlights. WhatsApp is giving you chatbot to get information. Instagram is giving you augmented reality features and so on. So lots of interesting features. I have a collection of all of them. I will give it in the show notes. I will link to each of these features. Our next news is about Clubhouse. After almost 12 months, Clubhouse has officially announced the end of closed beta which means the invite only message that you would have found on Clubhouse will be gone as of last week. You can now join, uh, whether you are on Android or on iOS, you can now join Clubhouse. It is open for everyone. Clubhouse has definitely revolutionized the social media audio space. And uh, even though they are facing tough competition from Facebook and Twitter and Almost everybody wants to get into this audio space now, uh, now that they've seen what uh, Clubhouse has been able to accomplish. Such big momentum and it will be very interesting to see how they evolve in the days to come, in the months to come. But it is definitely a space that you and me as word-based nonprofits and churches and ministries, uh, you know, we need to definitely watch out for the space and see how it evolves because it could be a very important channel for us to reach our audience. Our next news is about Instagram. Last week, Instagram announced that they are adding an auto translate tool inside Instagram stories. Uh, if uh, one of your audiences are watching uh, a story and you have a caption or a text with another language in it that they don't understand, what they can do is they will see a C translation uh, icon or a button on top of the story at the top uh, left corner and uh, they can click on it and they can now get that content translated to their language. And Instagram says that there will be 90 plus languages that are going to be supported and uh, seems like a very interesting feature, especially for ministries that are looking to reach people in various uh, language groups. Uh, because I know nonprofits, uh, many of you listening to me are working with different language groups. Our final news of this week is a big one from Apple. Apple has announced that Apple Music's high quality lossless audio features like spatial audio, Dolby Atmos and all of that is coming to Android devices. Now, the reason this story really caught my attention is uh, music is becoming a social content. 
uh, with group listening on Spotify and so on. Amazon Music has been heavily investing. YouTube Music, Google has had uh, completely focused on uh, YouTube Music. So this music space is becoming very important for us to think about, uh, you know, influencing people because music is part of most of our churches, ministries. Music is a big part of what we do. So it's important for us to pay attention. And the interesting thing about this news is how Apple has decided to bring these features to Android, uh, which is which we don't see much happen between Apple and Google. Uh, but seems like uh, even that barrier is being crossed just to help audiences, uh, you know, access music. That's all I have for you this week. Do you have any questions or thoughts or comments about any of the stories we talked about? If so, do leave them in the comment section. Uh, wherever you're listening to me, you will also find the description section where you will find all the source links of the stories that I talked to you about. You can also find the source links in our news page, nachilazaras.com slash news. And uh, please uh, have a look at uh, the source links, dig deeper, learn more about the stories because these are uh, important stories that have happened in the last couple of weeks. Thanks so much. I'll see you next week with another set of news items. Until then, you stay connected, stay blessed. God bless you. Bye-bye.